Jeff Don from Dalhousie University and Tesla battery engineers, who are also students of Don's, are listed as the inventors on a new patent for the method for synthesizing nickel cobalt aluminum electrodes. And I won't bore you with all the details, which you can read for yourself, but essentially it looks like this is a single crystal NCA electrode. And I'm guessing we'll learn more about this hopefully in May during battery day. Okay, single crystal, it sounds really fancy schmancy. What's the, who cares? What does it mean? There's been a lot of patents coming out lately. And I think this one was probably supposed to land after battery day. So we were probably already supposed to maybe know a bit about the context of this. But why did they just delay it? Um, well, you can't delay when you find out about a patent. This patent was filed for a while ago and then it becomes public information. Oh, I see. So um, I don't know much about what this single crystal NCA electrode would do for a battery. I do know that it would increase the performance, but uh, beyond that, who knows? What I do know is that on Wednesday with the seventh flight of Starlink, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket reached 84 flights. Wow, so what does that mean? Well, it officially took the mantle of the most flown currently operational US rocket away from the Atlas V rocket. Wow, and the Atlas V had a big head start. Yeah, it's been flying since August of 2002, and it had 83 flights to its name after 18 years. That's an annual rate of 4.6 launches a year. Wow. Falcon 9 started launching in June of 2010 and completed 84 flights in just under 10 years with a flight rate of 8.4 launches per year. Wow, almost double the number of rockets going up. Mm -hmm. from SpaceX. That's amazing. And in March, SpaceX submitted FCC filings for 13 more Starlink KA band gateway sites or ground stations around the U.S. for the Starlink internet service. So that would bring the number of stations to 20 in California, Connecticut, Florida, Missouri, Nebraska, Nevada, New York, Oregon, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Maine, Montana, Pennsylvania, Washington, and Wisconsin. I have been reading that this is terrible news. Why? Uh, 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 have you uh, uh, read like any like any new news publication? Yeah, they, they are ruining the night sky. Who is Starlink? Why these satellites are ruining the night sky? Have you looked at the night sky recently? Yeah. It's ruined. It is. Have you even seen it? Yeah, it's absolutely trashed. What you can't see anything because uh, these satellites are so bright and doing all kinds they're doing damage heavy damage heavy damage on the night so sky. i just go out at night it's, and it's just it's bright it's ruined out. you may as well just go home and go to sleep but you can't because it's so bright wow uh <laughs> that's not exactly what i've heard but i've also heard that starlink is doing a lot about getting the uh, albedo effect to be lower. In fact, Elon tweeted about this. We are taking some key steps to reduce satellite brightness, by the way. Should be much less noticeable during orbit rays by changing solar panel angle and all sats get sun shades starting with launch nine. Okay. Is that a little better for you? I, I sure hope so. There are now, according to Elon, 420 operational Starlink satellites. And then Starlink tweeted out, Starlink will deliver high-speed broadband internet to locations where access has been unreliable, expensive, or completely unavailable. And Ravi Kumar said, wow, will it be available across the globe? Elon said. Yes. So then Viv said, how many Starlink launches needed until minor moderate coverage? Are you still targeting service in the U.S. and Canada by the end of the year? Elon said private beta begins in roughly three months, public beta in roughly six months, starting with high latitudes. So private beta launch in about three months will probably only be for about a thousand plus Tesla and SpaceX employees. These are testers who can report back bugs. And then public beta will probably be for about 10,000 plus users. And when fully operational around the globe, Starlink will have 40,000 satellites. Now, as Viv found out, Germany counts as high latitude. So maybe we're in a high enough latitude as well. Maybe. So that would mean we could volunteer for like the public beta. That would be great. We could maybe broadcast the show from Wh Starlink. Hey, 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 worst case, as long as we're able to travel to Canada, just get up there, baby. And just drive into the middle of nowhere where there is no cell reception. There's no way to get internet. Got the internet. I'm watching the show. Yeah, this is I exciting mean, stuff. Come on, that's that is going to be awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching this Now You Know clip. Head over to Now You Know channel for full episodes of Tesla Time News and in depth. And if you want to treat yourself and your family to something amazing, check this out. 
Jesse and I have been enjoying Master Class, where we've been learning all sorts of fun topics from the masters themselves. Yeah, business leadership skills from Bob Iger. Yeah, that Bob Iger. Jazz from Herbie Hancock. Basketball from Steph Curry. Yeah, that Steph Curry. And so many more. Click the link down below to support our channel and experience what it's like to learn from the masters at Masterclass.